Hey guys, it's Strutter. It's uh, November the 19th today, and you're looking at about two pounds of silver sativas. Uh, just arrived today, faster than I had expected them. Um, I thought I would have sold through almost all of them by the time uh, they got here, which is when I was, uh, you know, planning on paying for these, but <laughs> I've only sold like, uh, what, like that many or so. So uh, yeah, if maybe people were waiting for them to be in hand before they want to purchase one, but uh, they are in hand now. So oh, uh, I was also going to mention I'm not going to put them on my website, but uh, I now have again three wolves, and these are shiny mint condition timber wolves, fresh from the tube. So uh, if you're looking for those, um, email me. Um, if you don't know my email address, just go to my website. The link's below, and you can uh, click the, the email email me button or whatever it's called. Um, oh, and I was going to show you these. I've been taking a liking to these little... Um, they called them fish scales back in the day. They were half dimes, also known as nickels, but um, that was before... We had uh, they, before they were made of nickel. They weren't made of nickel until uh, I think like 1920 or something like that. These are the old style, and they were just literally half of a dime. They were just you know same composition as a dime, 92.5 <clears throat> percent I believe they were back then. They used sterling silver in Canada back then. Um, but yeah, they're just half exactly half the weight of a dime, because the money back then was not the face value. The face value was. Uh, not really the whole meaning behind the money. The meaning behind money was the weight, the mass of metal that was there. And uh, kind of lost lost that now. <clears throat> now you got things, strange things like this. This giant chunk of silver that says five dollars on it. Okay. And uh, well, this one doesn't have a face value at all because it's just a round. It is just a one ounce, one troy ounce, 999 fine piece of silver. It is a very fine piece of silver. Uh, I do have around 15 to 20 of them left. Oh! Um, if you want more than one silver sativa, that's fine. I can do it. Um, we're just going to have to use tracking or something. So email me via the website and we'll, we'll work it out. Um, the website's only set up for if you're just getting one at a time. Um, now I was going to show you these. Pick these up recently. These are like Walking Liberties, um, but they're half ounces, so just kind of a nice size. I kind of wish I had more of them, but uh, I don't know. Just some private mint round, I guess, somewhere, but uh, I didn't even pay a higher premium on them. They were just the same price as, uh, they were half, half the price of a regular round, so. Anyway, that's about all I was going to show you today. Oh, um, some footage I recorded a couple days ago. I'll tag it on to the end of this one. But other than that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, I'm just over at my brother's place and uh, we're doing a little bit of a deal here. I'm paying him with real money as he's getting into some silver himself. And I just wanted to show these before I spend them because uh, they're kind of one of a kinds. I haven't seen these before. This one's called Liberty Lobby. I don't know what that is. 1978. And it says here 240 grains. You can see there, 240 grains is the weight. So I believe that's around three quarters of an ounce. And this is a one ounce. That was a Pepsi. This is a one ounce Liberty Silver. Uh, what does it say? One Troy ounce, 999 silver, 1982, with an eagle on one side and a cracked Liberty Bell on the other side. A mark. That would. That was an old. Uh, company that minted silver. I don't know if they're still in business or not. 999 Pure Silver. Oh! And he has one of the new $100 notes from Canada, so I'll show you that too. Got a little window there, and another window there. Some holograms. Uh, real fancy. Apparently the advantage of these ones is that they last longer and they're lighter, so when you're transporting your currency around. You don't have to spend as much money to transport it. That's apparently what they're saying is the reason that they did this, but it's got braille on it. It's got about 18 or 20 different security measures installed. 
But, uh, you know, you could just make your money out of something real and then you don't have to worry about people counterfeiting it, but I guess that's a, a lost art.